Thank you. Uh, Deputy Maureen O'Sullivan. Thank you. <clears throat> Taoiseach, you had um, an intensive whirlwind visit to Silicon Valley and San Francisco recently, and you visited an array of media and technology companies from Fis Facebook and Cisco and eBay, etc. And we do acknowledge the work of this government in attracting investment and employment and growth, but there are other sides to that particular coin, and one has to do with Irish workers, and the other has to do with Irish reputation. Now, what we're seeing is multinational companies, they come in, they avail of the tax breaks, they avail of the tax concessions, and then they head for the hills. And either closing down businesses completely or uh, reducing the number of employees that they are employing. And we have a list of companies over the years who have done exactly that, and we also see others that are being planned in the future. And what we're seeing also is increasing demands on Irish workers, and it's epitomised by what is happening in Waterford with the, work, with the workers there at the moment. And it's not so much a case of take it or leave it, it's a case of take it or we leave. And we know the kind of aggressive lobbying that's going on to get that firm to move to New York. We see the erosion of hard-won workers' rights because of these companies. And workers' rights in terms of salary and wages, in terms of health and safety, or conditions. And the editorial and the examiner put it very succinctly, saying that globalization is ruining workers' job security. So we have to ensure that we get worthwhile employment that's not at the whims of foreign national, multinational companies and foreign investment. And I think one of the strategies and one of the answers is that there's a greater support of small and medium businesses in this country because the statistics are there that they're the ones who are more reluctant to let their employees go in difficult times. So that means tackling the issues that they have identified as being difficulties. So, for example, access to adequate finance, sustainable cash flow, the upward only rents, microfinance, seed capital scheme, etc., and the public procurement issue. So my question is, will the government commit to the same assertive or aggressive tackling that it puts into attracting foreign direct investment and multinationals into the small and medium enterprise here because I think it's the small and medium enterprise our indigenous industries that have our workers interests at heart and will you commit to a comparable St. Patrick's Day series of events that goes into attracting foreign investment to supporting our small and medium enterprises I would ask in terms of the public procurement aspect because we do know that the printing industry in this country has been decimated in years and they estimate about a loss of some 5,000 jobs. Now I want to go to the other aspect which is Ireland's reputation and that brings in the tax issue. I think multinationals' idea of social responsibility equals more profit for their shareholders. How do they get more profit for their shareholders? Well, they pay their workers less and they pay less tax. And we do know that multinationals are very adept with a very aggressive forms of tax avoidance by channeling revenue through subsidiaries in countries, unfortunately like Ireland and the Netherlands, with various techniques that they use, known as double Irish and Dutch sandwich. Um, Ireland has been a voice internationally against illicit flight capital <coughs> from the countries of the developing world but I think we have to lead by example and I think we have to see and cooperate with what the OECD are doing and the European Commission. Now the OECD is calling on all G20 states to implement the 15-point guideline in its action plan in relation to base erosion and profit shifting. So I want to know will the government confirm which key aspects of that plan it will be implementing and ensure that multinationals comply so that Ireland does not facilitate tax avoidance by multinational companies. Thank you. Um, I'll say to you, um, Deputy Sullivan, the um, wages on average in uh, IDEA companies here in Ireland are much higher, actually, than elsewhere in the economy. Survivorship among multinational companies is as, is as strong as it is in Irish companies. Obviously, markets change and pressures are, uh, pr pressures are, are, are there all the time. But uh, Ireland's spend on Irish companies is actually much higher than it is in respect of uh, multinationals. It's not one or the other, it's not either or, you need both. Um, and obviously multinationals being here uh, create opportunities for uh, niche contractors to supply services and, and goods to them, which is very important. Uh, in respect of the base erosion and profit shifting, uh, we've been very much upfront about this. Uh, last October in the, in the budget, uh, Minister abolished the stateless concept. 
Uh, clearly, there's an international issue here uh, in respect of uh, the digital world having moved very much ahead of the legislative world. And that's why Ireland, among the countries uh, of the European Council and the European Union, have been very much up front here in working with the European Commission and in working with the OECD uh, to deal with this in an international way so that there's an international response uh, to, the, uh, to the issue. Uh, the different sectors that are represented on the many committees are attended and contributed to by Ireland. We hope that the, uh, that the OECD will bring forward its report during the summer uh, and uh, obviously as I've said, Ireland is very much uh, up front in wanting this matter to be dealt with in an international sense. And this is not about the rate of corporation tax, it is about the issue of tax in general uh, and we are participating fully and comprehensively uh, to that. Uh, and uh, our legislation, as you know, uh, statute-based, we believe is ethically implemented um, and will stand up to any, any, any scrutiny. But we want to participate with all other countries uh, so, that the issues are, so that the issues are dealt with uh, as an international response to something that has, uh, that has happened over the last number of years. Thank you. Thank you for your comment.